Hi everybody, this is Dry Fly Rye from the Get Up and Grow channel. Let's take a look in the greenhouse. Alright, today is May 29th, 2013. Um, we're, we're really rocking and rolling in the greenhouse. I think it's been about a week since the last greenhouse update. So I thought I would bring you on in, show you around, and uh, see what's happening. Um, we'll start on this side, side with all the pots, and uh, we'll go into flip around mode, alright? Flip around mode. Alright, I cannot even back up enough to get the tomatoes in here. I was just checking out the video of the last greenhouse update, and I'm pretty sure the tomatoes have pretty much doubled in size. Look at that. It is like a tomato jungle. And then down here, um, no spoiler alert, I let him know, but those are uh, tomatoes I grew specifically for my father for Father's Day. And I think I gotta get them um, over to him before that happens because they're getting pretty big and untransportable. Uh, bottom shelf, peppers, huge. Eggplant, Huge! Look at the size of these eggplant leaves. I mean, here's here's my hand for a size comparison. It's bigger than my hand. I mean, that's crazy. You know what? Let's do a cut scene right here to the eggplants outside for a uh, size comparison. Here you go. Same eggplants outside. Here's my hand. Nowhere even close. There's the other, the fairy tale eggplant. Not even close to what the uh, greenhouse is is doing to them. Alright, continuing on down here. Actually, pit stop. Up here, starting some herbs. Uh, this side we have dill. Uh, can you see? Just barely starting to come up. Those are going to be uh, mixed in with the cucumbers outside. No, oh, no. Mint. That's going to go with the melons outside. Dill is over here. Uh, nothing really going on, but um, that's going to go in with the pickles and some other herbs. I don't even remember what they were. Alright, uh, continuing on down here. Pepper is down the bottom. Okra. I don't know what happened, but I gave up. I replanted. We'll see if I can get that to come up. Uh, Brussels sprout. Check him out. He's doing awesome. One thing I love about the greenhouse is you don't have any pest damage. Whereas outside, there were um, worms and such eating uh, the Brussels sprouts. Over on this pepper plant here. I don't know if you... Let's see if I can focus... And you see that? You see what's going on there? That's a little baby pepper. Yep, that's the first bit of fruit we have in the garden. And you can see there's all sorts of flowers in addition to that. Uh, right beside me here is a habanero. Um, no flower. Oh, it looks like we no real flowers, but you can see they're coming up. Um. Some other peppers I moved outside because I'm just I'm losing space in here. Here's some more peppers that are just kind of in the middle. Um, the other ones I just left in pots and I threw them outside the door. And there was also a tomato plant that um, was over here that got too big for its pot, so I actually I literally I opened up the door and uh, dug a hole in the ground and threw it in. Um, so it's just kind of sitting in the dirt outside. Uh, after that is the cucumbers. Cucumbers here. And over on the other side, and I built some, uh, I tied these trellises all the way up to the ceiling. So if all goes according to plan, those cucumbers will climb that trellis. Moving along to the other side. Celery. It's all looking awesome. Looks like stalks of celery. Romaine, seedlings are uh, doing good. So you can see um, we're missing the two heads that I just harvested the other day. Um, so I'll have to replace those. Um, spinach is getting pretty thin. It's not really producing much anymore since I, I kind of butchered the crap out of it. But that's alright, so those two front ones might be uh, getting close to done. But I got all the backups coming up back here. Iceberg lettuce is doing absolutely nothing. Nothing really came up except for... um these two things back here. 
And I'm not even sure if they're iceberg or if something else floated over there. And then we got like a little mescaline blend over here that's looking really nice. The second blend, however, that's all that happened. So what I did is I, I threw another blend in there. Sprinkled them in, watered it yesterday, so hopefully that will come up. Then you got the garlic. Not a whole lot to talk about. It's garlic. It's growing. And over here, this has been the biggest fail of the greenhouse so far. Um, it was supposed to be edamame beans. So yeah, I was supposed to have edamame beans coming up here, and I don't know what happened. One, they were very hard to get to even come out of the ground. They were not sprouting very quickly. Um, out of the dozen or so that I planted, I had one fully come up and start to actually turn nice dark green and start to grow. I had a second start to come up, just barely got its head out. Um, and then nothing else came up. I started digging around, and it looks like maybe they were they were damping off because they because I found them and they just kind of crumbled in my hands. So um, with the one that came up, however, there's a bit of a, a mystery. It was looking good, like I said, it came up, it turned green, and it was probably you know yay big. And then I come in one day and it's gone. I don't know where it's had gone to, and it had gone from right here. And then I found it in the back there. So something came along, broke it off, and took it and dragged it like two feet to the back. And I don't know what would possibly do that. Same thing happened. The other one that was just starting to merge was right around here, and that was broken off and completely missing. So I don't know what the heck happened. So what I did is I replanted those outside um, next to the other beans that didn't come up outside. So maybe those will do better there, and then I planted green beans over here yesterday, so maybe those will come up and do a little bit better. Um, so, so far that's been the biggest fail of the greenhouse. Everything else in this greenhouse is awesome. It's like a nice little green jungle in here. I like to just come and sit down and take it all in. I got strawberries up here. Actually, check out that strawberry. It's actually starting to turn red. I don't know how well you can make it out on camera, but that strawberry right in the middle there. It's just starting to get a hue of red to it. But yeah, the strawberries love it out here. I got three of them. Uh, there's the other one over there. And one in the other corner. And they're loving it out here. Just real quick, those are the two peppers that I um, I moved outside just to make some more room inside. That is something I saved from seed from a store-bought bought pepper. And over here is jalapeno that I topped and did a little bit of pruning. You can see that it's bushing out. It's got one two, three, four main tops, and even five, six down in the middle there. So that's kind of cool. My first attempt at pruning peppers seems to be working. And on the other side of the door um, is that tomato. Like I said, it was just getting too big for its pot, and I I hurried up and I, I dug a hole in the ground, threw a tomato in the ground, and there she sits. The other thing that's right outside my greenhouse that I haven't had a chance to show you guys is this was a, uh, a Father's Day present last year that my wife and kids made. That's uh, my last name. Um, McCray is the M. These are my son's uh, footprints last year. And on each side are my daughter's uh, handprints last year. So this is a very important gift to me and it means the world to me. Alright, so that is it for your greenhouse update number three. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, for everybody who's been posting comments and giving me the thumbs up and subscribing to my channel, thank you very much. I mean, it all means the world to me. I love hearing your comments. I love talking with you guys. Um, so keep all that up. And, you know, again, thank thank you so much. I mean, this is kind of cool. You know, I get to share everything with you to other people who appreciate it. And uh, we can all be a part of a big community. Um, so you keep watching them. I'll keep making them. In the meantime, get up and grow. This is the Get Up and Grow channel. I'm your host, Dryfly Rye, and I'll see you next time, alright? Bye!